I always say that nature has solved its energy problems. Two and a half billion a year ago they developed photosynthesis. They could make fuel out of water and not be the fastest way, but probably the smartest way how we can solve our energy problems for the future. We, we today have the blueprint of, of photosynthesis. The challenge is, is to find, to be able to find the right ingredients that are stable. The leaf has chlorophyll and it has a lot of protein molecules and so on. And they may not be stable in, 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 in an artificial system. So one important research is to find the right stable components that can work in a technological uh, system, in a technological uh, machinery. There are a few uh, labs in the world that goes into artificial photosynthesis, called, but not very many. goal is to split water into oxygen and hydrogen, to use two colours of light together. Ideally, you use the energy of blue light and the energy of red light and you combine them and that will give you a sufficient energy to, to uh, split water and make hydrogen. We can do it right now. It's not a dream. It's possible. The technology exists today, except it's incredibly expensive. The, the challenge is to devise a technology which is cheap and made of, is robust and made of cheap materials. We have the expertise through James Barber. This is absolutely top in the world. In a research-intensive university mm -hmm. like NTU, research and teaching should go hand in hand. Yeah. Right? You, if you have the best researchers also being your teachers, you get fresh food and yeah. not old tin food. Energy is going to be one of the future challenges. It's going to be a future job market. Mm -hmm. So you will now be taught by the top people in the world uh, when it comes to alternative energy, uh, the, the solar cells of tomorrow, the hydrogen society. Uh, at NTU, we've brought together my experience in understanding the natural photosynthetic system with, with the skills and talents of scientists working in material, uh, in material sciences. It's a case of a multidisciplinary approach. The breakthrough will come from this interdisciplinary uh, interaction. Mm -hmm.